Hello. This video is in response to a question about how to change the icon when you're using the show input dialog box. You'll notice here that um, I'm using the show input dialog but I don't actually store the input anywhere. This is simply to respond to that video and show you how to change the icon. So let's just run this program and you'll notice here that in this case we get um, a question mark icon and we have input something. Some people want to change this icon here and you'll notice a couple other examples. One, we might want to remove the icon altogether. And take a note of the frame name in, in the next couple cases. Um, we might want to put a, an error icon in there. This is built in. We might want to put in a warning icon, which again is a built in icon you can access. Or we might want to put in our own icon. So I have a, a red square, which all I did was go into paint and I think it might be up right now, so here's paint, I'll drag it in there. And I simply took um, a paint window, dragged it to the size that I wanted, and then I just filled it in with a color. You could put a picture in here or whatever you want. So what happens is I use a slightly different version of the show input dialog method. Those of you in my class, I'm really not concerned about um, worrying about changing icons right now. However, it's something fun you can do. So what you'll notice here is I have to I have passed um, different arguments into this method. So again, the null is the same in all the cases. This string is the same, but then you'll notice this is where it changes. And what we get now is we get um, the next string indicates the message on the top of the box, and then this constant indicates the type of message that we're we're setting up. So if we tell the computer, the, the program, that we want a plain message, it's going to set no icon. If we tell them that we want an error message, it's going to generate an error message icon. If we tell them we want a, J uh, a warning message, it's going to give a warning message icon. So really just two more little things you have to add to change that icon to preset icons that are built in. But the question comes, what if I want a custom icon? Well, this gets a little trickier. The first thing we need to do though is create an icon object, which is right there. Objects are, think of them as fancy variables. Again, not something we're concerned with in the grade 11 course. This is uh, definitely a grade 12 topic here. But what I do is I create an icon and I have made a JPEG called new image. So the important thing here is where do you save this file? So for those of you that are using Eclipse, if we just kind of scroll here you'll notice I'm in my workspace and you have to save this JPEG file in the, the workspace directory. Okay, If it's not there, it's not going to work. So then, as I come across, I have um, an extra... Let's add some space, there we go. I come across, I see, I say J option pane information message and then I have another parameter and I just put that icon there. So notice this icon is the variable that is associated with this line right here. So then I come back across and then these two parameters, don't worry about them right now, I put null and I put a double quote. And by doing this you actually generate an icon, a custom icon, in your window. So again, there's a question mark, here's a plain message with no icon, here's some text, here's some text, and then there's our custom icon. I hope that helped.